Hi guys, Rosa with the Cackling Moon. I wanted to get on here to do kind of like a quick little rant, ramped, <laughs> ramped, <laughs> a quick little ramble slash rant. Um, I was trying to come up with like a cute little word for it, but never mind. Anyways, um, I have a gorgeous candle lit right now that is making my room smell amazing. Um, so I just thought I would show you guys. <laughs> Um, I need some black tourmaline for this conversation. So, um, I have been seeing a lot, a lot, um, and I think it has to do with the people that I've subscribed to on YouTube and posts and stuff, but there's been a lot of people talking about, um, Doreen Virtue and Doreen Virtue did her ha, had her conversion she con she converted to the christian faith in 2017 so this was quite a couple years ago right two years ago and it was a big thing and it was i remember when i first heard about it even i was like what and i had my two cents that i said i had you know i had my opinions um but uh, i have since really 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 learned I've learned my lesson okay so what I'm gonna say is back in 2018 when remember when um one of our fellow readers in our community that we all loved um wild moon woman remember when she did her conversion and we were all in an uproar about it and I made a video about um my feelings about that conversion when I go back and I watch the video because I, I literally have gone back a couple times to watch my own video to try to see you know what the error in my ways because I have since been able to disconnect myself from the feelings and the emotions that I had about um, wild moon woman's conversion and I have been able to kind of see things from a different perspective. Now, since that video that I made was posted, and I believe in the video I've even kind of described why I was having my feelings that I had when I found out that she had converted to the Christian faith because I myself have struggled and have felt so much negativity about the Christian faith um, based on my own personal upbringing and my own personal experiences with the church and my own experiences with family members and not being able to be myself. Um, so I took my own personal flavor, <laughs> my own personal flavor of the whole opinion of the whole church and I projected it onto Wild Moon Woman's choice, her free choice to do what she did, right? And I don't feel like my video was negative or whatever, you know, but I do feel like I was a bit unfair in my approach because I didn't, I didn't, ugh, where's my hangman card? <laughs> That's like the perfect opportunity to show off a tarot card. I didn't do exactly what the hangman would have done. Okay, let's, let's talk about that for a second. Since I'm a tarot reader, let's fucking bring the tarot cards into this. Where are you? <laughs> Before I lose my train of thought. <laughs> Here you are. And now, if you guys are a tarot reader, you would know that the hangman energy is usually about placing yourself out of a situation. You are switching up your perspective. He's switching up his perspective. He's hanging upside down. He's seeing the situation from different eyes. Okay? from a different point of view. Had I taken myself out of the equation and put myself in her shoes or put myself in shoes amongst all of us, right? I could have easily seen that she was making the decision for herself based on what her emotional needs were at that time. And she didn't make the decision to piss us off. She didn't make the decision to piss me off on a personal level. She didn't make the decision to break our hearts. But we were emotionally caught up in it because of our experiences, our own personal experiences with 
the flavor of Christianity, the flavor of conversion, the flavor of, um, you know, putting yourself on a higher pedestal than others based on your belief systems, all of the above, blah, 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 blah. So I have since been able to do that and it's made me feel so bad <laughs> about now. Okay. I, I, I want to reword, rephrase that. I don't feel bad for my feelings on Christianity and conversion and all of that stuff. I don't feel bad about me feeling hurt or sad that she was gone because I miss her. I miss her content. I miss her as a person. I miss everything about what she did. But I do feel bad for maybe causing a riffle effect, a ripple effect or whatever you call it. And other people in our community, in our tarot community, making videos about her conversion based on seeing maybe my video or someone else's video. And um, I feel bad for that because I feel like not everybody ended up stepping outside of themselves to see what happened as what it was, right? So anyways, that was like 2018. Um... I think it was 2018. <laughs> Anyways, um, so Dory Virtue. So what I have been seeing lately are people posting a lot of, of their opinions about Doreen Virtue's videos and her posts on Instagram. And I don't, for I personally do not follow Doreen Virtue anymore. I, I unfollowed her. I unfollowed her. I unsubs, I unsubscribed. I, la, la, la. I unsubscribed from her YouTube channel and I unfollowed her on Instagram because of the content that she was posting. And it was triggering me or it was pissing me off or it was putting me in this emotional turmoil or it was making me doubt my own path. So I have since unfollowed her content. I don't, um, I don't resonate with it anymore. That was the whole purpose of my video too on Wild Moon Woman. I did make the decision to unfollow Wild Moon Woman and that's why I made the video I did to talk about it because I needed to like let off some steam. But I decided to step away because if you don't resonate with someone's content anymore or their opinions or the things, the, whatever they're posting, you have every free right to fall away from that, right? You don't have to follow them. So I had unfollowed Doreen Virtue a while back when she started this whole thing because I, and this was even before Wild Moon Woman was a thing. Um, because I just was like, this is not, <laughs> this is not what I want to see on my, on my feed every day. Um, but I, ha I do go do the whole, oh, let's go see what Doreen Virtue has posted lately. And so I will go see her stuff or I'll see a post pop up on Facebook or on my, um, my YouTube channel and where people are discussing the latest that Doreen Virtue has said or whatever. And I'll go look because I'm curious, you know? Um, and I have feelings about that, you guys. I have feelings. So I have feelings where I, I understand wanting to blow off some steam. I understand wanting to project your opinion because we can all, we all should do that. We all are entitled to our opinions. But I have, an, I have a problem with literally trashing someone else for their choices of faith. And I feel like a hypocrite when I say this too because I, I feel like I, that's exactly, I, I feel like that's what I did at one point, but I don't wanna do that anymore, you know? I wanna embrace someone's, someone else's choice to believe what they wanna believe only if they respect me in return. That's where I'm coming from. So I understand that a lot of the stuff that Doreen Virtue has been saying and putting out is not respecting another community of people that she was once heavily a part of. And that is what is a slap in the face. I understand that. But to purposely create content to just trash someone else is like, empty energy to me does that make sense it's like it's like you're putting out empty energy like why why do that I don't get it so I listened to this video that was that I saw I'm not gonna list it or post it or anything like that 
But I was, I have a long commute when I go to work. So I listened to m majority of it when I was driving and I was appalled by a lot of the stuff that the people were saying about Doreen Virtue. And I just saw 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> I'm gonna go have to make a mental note. What is 1010? I gotta go look that up later. Um, I was appalled because it was like she's still a person, you know? Like, you don't have to like everybody, you don't have to love everybody. I get it, you know? But to make content to just trash or talk about somebody else is just to me an, a waste of time. And so I wanted to come on here and make a video about that because it was on my mind and it made me think about the video I put up about why I unfollowed Wild Moon Woman. And I really had to start doing that hangman moment again. <laughs> when I was hearing this content about Doreen Virtue, what these, what these people were saying, and these are people that are in our tarot community. Um, I was looking at it and listening to that content with the mind of, is that what I sounded like when other people, like you guys, when you guys were watching that video of me, did I sound like that? Talking about somebody that I once enjoyed. Um, and I still enjoy her, but I can't enjoy her in this new version that she is because I don't, I don't follow that. I'm not a part of that new life that she's living now, you know? So I really had to think about that and it made me feel kind of embarrassed and ashamed to be honest because I was like, I don't want to be looked at in that sense, you know? I want to be above that. <clears throat> and so I had, I felt like I had to come on here and address that because I and I still, I'm, I'm going to keep the video up because I feel like that would be hypocritical of me to hide it. Um, so it's up, but you can, you can find it on my channel um, I, where I talk about why I unfollowed Wild Moon Woman. Um, and I'm sure many of you guys watched it. It was a pretty big deal at one point. Um, but I guess I wanted to come on here and just say, one, that I, if I ever sounded that way, I apologize. And two, I learn my lesson with that by simply placing myself outside of my flavor of Christianity and my flavor of someone who leaves our community and goes into a Christian faith. To me, it's like, that's their choice. You know, who am I to say that they are wrong for that, right? But, but I understand and I get it because I know some of you guys are going to com comment and say, but so-and-so was saying that about us, like that we're wrong and we're the devil and we're going to go to hell for what we do. I get it. Yes, I get it. So that, that that's where the fine line is, where it's like, we got to project love and acceptance of people, even if their choices and decisions differ from our own. But to the extent of, are they respecting you back? You know what I mean? So Wild Moon Woman never disrespected me on a personal level. She made comments in her video to us as a whole on the topic, but she never once said so-and-so is going to hell for this or so-and-so you are going to hell for this. She made a general comment and I can understand why being offended by that is legit. That's valid. Yes. But these people that I were that I was recently watching their or listening to their video um, about Doreen Virtue were specifically making specific comments and jokes and rude remarks about Doreen Virtue specifically, and and I understand, yeah, I I get it. Doreen Virtue has said some hurtful things, especially about people that she was once a huge community and a and a and inspiring person for you know and it hurts um but it also doesn't hurt to just unfollow somebody if you don't resonate with them anymore you know let her do her thing I just saw 444 <laughs> hi angels okay <laughs> let her do her thing you know um 
I feel like it's like until that person for like verbally attacks you personally one on one, it's like okay, game on, and go ahead and project yourself, protect yourself, and project yourself. <laughs> But if you're just picking on a person simply because you don't like what they posted and you don't have to follow it and, and had you not followed it or looked on her page, you wouldn't have seen it. It's kind of like, it's just, to me, it's different. And so, you know, when I look at Doreen Virtue's page, like if I'm having a lonely Friday night and I'm just looking at people's stuff, if I go looking for someone's content and I know that whatever they're going to post is going to piss me off or it's going to offend me or it's going to or it's going to make me doubt myself, if I know that that's going to happen and I still choose to look at their page, I'm not doing myself any favors, you know? So it's like I shouldn't be surprised if I see someone post something like that. That's almost like going to your, your enemy and, and looking at what they're posting and you know for a fact that they're going to be talking shit about you and you go look at it anyway and then you get offended because they talk shit about you. It's like, well, you know they're going to be doing it, so why even go look? That's, that's what I'm talking about. So it's like, I, and, I, and I've seen some of Doreen Virtue's stuff recently, especially when she did that A to Z list or there was another post where she was talking about cards in general and I was like, what? <laughs> what she had so many cards like so many decks I have I have her angel answers deck and I also have her romance angels I still own like probably a good four or five decks of Doreen virtues with her name on it and she's since pulled back all of her stuff and I still work with them I just don't associate her with the content anymore you know if someone were to ask me oh what deck is that oh it's the romance angels deck you know you don't have to say oh it's by dorian virtue but she's no longer in our community like just she's gone she's done you know um i know some people can't work with her content anymore because they just feel like it's like it's false or it's like a bad flavor and i get it you know i get it that's fine um, I've had to get rid of a deck because I didn't resonate with the person anymore as a person. Um, but you make that decision, you know? But I just feel like there's a difference with putting your opinion out there and then literally downright trashing, trashing someone. And it turn it's not, it's not like, it, and you're, you're no longer giving advice to a community of people and supporting one another, you're literally just opening up space to trash talk someone. And I don't like that. I think that that was wrong. <laughs> I was kind of like dis disappointed in that. And, I, and when I really thought about it, I was like, dude, like, is that what I looked like or sounded like in my video about Wild Moon Woman? And I felt so ashamed. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on here and just kind of do a little rant about that because I think that, you know, some of us can, we need to hear it, you know? And I think that we also need to be reminded that, you know, someone's choice in their own life is their own fucking choice. And if it doesn't align with your own beliefs, too bad, you know, it's their choice. That is their life. Just like it's your choice and your life to do what you want to do. How would you feel if someone was totally against what you just decided to do, right? Think about that. Think about how it makes you feel. And, um, and then, you know, think twice before you put trashy content about somebody because it just doesn't look right. At least in my opinion, <laughs> it doesn't look right. It's not fair. And you know, life isn't fair. We're always going to be pissing someone off or we're always going to be offending somebody or we're going to, someone's going to offend us. It happens. Nobody's perfect. But if you can control your content to be classy and professional and you know, all of the above, <laughs> Do it, you know? 
Don't stoop to that level. If Doreen Virtue wants to put content out talking about people that she once was a huge community leader of or, you know, uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? A um, she's, She would inspire so many of us, right? She had a big following on in the in the new age community. And then to come around and talk trash or just to at least make remarks about how we're wrong or we're following the devil. It's hurtful. I get it. It's hurtful. And I'm not saying that she's right about that. No, I don't support that. But why stoop to her level of shaming and doing it, do it again, you know? Why stoop to that and why waste so, so much time and energy doing that? That's what I question. Because what do you get out of it? A laugh? A couple likes from people? Or, you know, maybe it, maybe, maybe it made you feel better. I don't know. <laughs> but to me, it's just like some, some stuff just doesn't need to be said, you know? So... That's my rant today. <laughs> I wanted to, you know, put something out and put my thoughts. Um, and with that, let's pull a card from the angel. Let's pull a card from the angel decks. I have them right here on the table because I was doing client readings earlier. So let's pull some cards since we were talking about glorious Doreen Virtue and what she once was, you know. She's doing her thing. If she's if she's happy, let her be happy, you know. If you're happy doing your thing, you be happy doing you and let her do her thing, you know? She made that decision for herself. If you can never, God forbid, ever go back to the Christian faith, then don't. But if someone else you love does, simply be happy for them for the simple fact that they're happy. But if they're just downright trashing you and making you feel bad every single day you look at their content or whatever, whatever the case may be, unfollow unfollow them block them stop talking to them you know just tap <laughs> the engagement card came up your love life love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment i love that i could look at that as since we pulled this card for you guys um engagement is my engagement with you guys i hope that my videos are inspiring to you guys at some point, I know they're not going to hit all of you guys. They're not going to touch you all. But let's look at this as um, my love life or my connection with you guys is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Maybe, you know, we can become closer as a community and support one another, but from a more positive light, you know? Um, maybe, that's what that's, maybe that's what that message means. Let's see what the Angel Answers deck says. <laughs> Recovery. I love it. So after all of this, this whole video, after me pouring out my heart and we're talking about, you know, some touchy subjects and stuff, sometimes we need to fucking recover from it, right? Pour some, pour a glass of wine, <laughs> have some tea, go, you know, curl up on the couch and just recover from it. You guys, if someone pisses you off, someone posts something that pisses you off, instead of using precious time and energy, and trashing them again, just do something else. Divert your energy from it. Recover from that situation. You know, that's 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 the way I see it. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, because I, as much as like I wish that things didn't turn out the way that they did with some people that we follow that we love, you know, that we that we found to be so inspiring in our community and then they one one day they're just not there anymore because they they decided to take on another path. That you have to remember that they have every right to do that. If they want to go another way, they can. Just like you can. So, we just got to deal. We just got to deal and we recover from it. We recover from it. And we make better, tighter commitments and engagements with other people in our community. You know, whoever Doreen Virtue or Wild Moon Woman or whatever other creator out there, however they were to you, if they inspired you on a daily basis and now they're no longer there, 
why not go find someone else to inspire you? Why not you inspire you, you know? Or find another reader or community person or whoever, another video, another subscribe, subscribe to someone else's channel that would, that can bring that sense back to you, you know? I don't know. <laughs> That's just what I'm thinking. But I wanted to put my two cents out there because I felt like I needed to address the video I had posted last year. And then also just say, I'm simply sorry. Like if I came off as, as a trash talker or whatever, like I'm sorry. Um, I wasn't thinking outside of myself. And the moment that I was able to think outside of myself in the situation, I was able to see it from a different perspective. And I was just like, she just was following what she needed to do at that time. So, yeah. All right, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching my rant. I will talk to you guys later. Um, and, yeah, have a good Sunday. Bye, loves.